hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today this video is going to be about how i normally take and edit my pictures on instagram yeah this video is a highly requested video so basically when my husband is not home i take my pictures myself but when he's home he normally takes my pictures but then nowadays i'm already used to taking my own pictures of myself such so that even when he's home i don't disturb him anymore <laughs> okay who are so, the people who need to watch this video if you are a content creator this video is so if you're a fashion blogger or a lifestyle blogger most especially in this lockdown this video is for you if you're a lover of photography this video is for you. in fact this video is for everybody because at some point you might actually need to take a picture of you or take a group picture or take a picture of yourself or take a group picture and all of that so this video is for everybody however before we dive right into the video let's quickly take a shot <laughs> Okay, so basically the two things is that you need to take your own picture by yourself your phone and a tripod i'm going to be leaving a link right down below where you can order the type of tripod i use so before we go out i will take you guys through how to use the tripod itself because you need to know how to position your phone on the tripod and then you also need to connect um the remote with your phone before you go take your pictures and then one other thing i also recommend that you practice your poses in front of the mirror before you go out there so that you can know how to take the pictures and then you would have mastered your angles and then you know when to tap on the button because you just tap and then you you snap so and then one other thing is pose and then snap don't just be tapping on the on the remote shot so every time so pose first Make sure that you are comfortable with that pose and then you tap on it. One last thing, you must put your phone in high resolution. Like set your camera to be on high resolution. And then I usually snap my pictures in portrait mode. So that is the best thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the I'll video. I'll just take you guys through how to set the tripod. I'm using the tripod right now. And it's going to be a bit tricky because I need to remove my phone from the tripod hold my phone and then explain the tripod to you guys because if you want to take a like a three quarter like a um half portrait you need to there's a way you adjust the tripod and then if you are taking a full picture of yourself there's a way you adjust the tripod as well so <laughs> let me just uh, remove my phone right now and then i will show you how the tripod works so guys this is the tripod this is the type i use like i said i'll be leaving a link down below where you can order the tripod from so um i already extended the legs but you can reduce it <laughs> as well so if you are taking a full length picture this is how you have to extend it like this if it's a full length picture you are taking however if you are taking a portrait picture like uh, i mean like um three quarter picture this is what you do you extend it upwards like this and then fixing the phone to it it has to be like that it has to be like that you have to fix your phone let me look for a phone here that i can use as an example okay so you have to put the phone like that fix the phone because i'm using <laughs> my phone to record so you have to fix it like this like in a vertical um, position like this and then the screen should be um facing you so you put it on camera mode and then you turn it so that the camera the camera is facing you do you, do you does that make sense you fix your phone like that you turn it to the back and make sure that the back camera you're using the back camera then you hold your remote control shuttle which we must have connected to your phone it's easy to do that the remote control shuttle comes with the tripod so like that this is how you you make sure that your phone is positioned in a straight way vertical and then 
like that and then you 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 pause and then you tap on the remote control shuttle pause and then you tap it and then one other thing make sure that this sun is focusing on you because if you are back in the sun your, your your pictures might not be that clear and you don't want that in a way that the sun is focusing on you does that make sense yeah like that you see how the sun is facing me to make your pictures brighter and then normal and then another thing you can wait for the golden hour i think that's usually around um six in england because we already having longer day and shorter night so i think around six seven that's the golden hour but i don't wait till the golden hour i just go out as soon as it's bright and i take my picture this is the tripod i use and this is how i set it i usually put it in portrait mode is how i take my pictures most times when my husband is not at home i use my tripod so this is a tripod and okay so this is the setting So now that we are done taking our pictures, it's time for us to dive right into editing. It's better for you to take a lot of pictures so that you have a array of options to choose from. I usually use three editing apps to edit my pictures. So actually, depending on the clarity, sometimes I use just two out of the three. And those are Snapseed, Lightroom, and VS Co. So first of all, I would import my favorite picture into Snapseed. And then I would go into tuning. I will use the tuning tab over there. Increase the brightness, increase the saturation, and then um, sometimes I reduce the highlights. <laughs> so I'm about to import now into Snapseed. And then go to tuning, increase the brightness. Okay, first of all, I'm cropping now. I'm cropping the picture. So that I would be at the center. That's why I'm cropping. Because obviously you see that I left a lot of space at the side. Of course, I wasn't seeing it. <laughs> so crop the picture and then increase brightness, increase saturation decrease the highlights and then use the portrait mode to smoothen um, the picture <laughs> so the voice you are hearing underneath is my husband's voice and the baby so now I would import the picture into Lightroom and reduce the noise. So it makes it smoother. It reduces all the grainy um, stuff on the picture. And then I would also increase the ambience. Now that I'm done, I would import the picture right into VS Code and then use the C8. into VS Code. Now right into VS Code. Import 
record the picture use the c8 filter and that's it they increase sharpness to make the picture sharper and then sometimes to increase the clarity to make the picture clearer but i don't want to use the whole of the c8 filter so i will just minimize it a bit and that's it we are done with the picture so editing picture actually makes the picture go a long way it makes it clearer and you see we went from this blurry unclear picture to this glossy beautiful picture so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do there are several ways for you to let me know first of all by giving a thumbs up secondly by leaving a comment down below thirdly by sharing this video with all your friends i mean on all your social media platforms and then lastly by turning on your post notification bell